they took off. You know, just their little boys. And I just thank God for allowing the word to come today to let us know that he can come any kind of way. And that little voice right there is, is you know, the whispering, you know, the talking to me in the spirit. That, mm-hmm. that gets me more than any other way. And I thank God for the word. And I thank God for each one of us on the line today. And just allow us to continue to stay on this, this, this journey and, and get to the goodness that God has in store for all of us. The mm-hmm. promotion, the blessing, on top of blessing. Amen. Amen. Anybody else this morning? Anybody else? Any questions? Any comments? Good morning, everyone. Um, this has just been a, a um, like the ladies before me have spoken, very encouraging and eye-opening message. Um, there's just so many different things I can identify with. When um, he was touched by the angel and um, given something to eat, and you made the point that God would provide. And it's just an encouragement to know that we can lean and depend on him, and we are the ones that need to be in the right posture to mm-hmm. handle our um, resources uh, properly, because he's not going to continue to bless us if we're misusing resources and uh, and not, you know, taking up to the heat of the word and the uh, assignments and so forth. So mm-hmm. it's just been a real eye-opener. I could just identify personal with so many different points that you've shown us today, and I thank you for it, and I thank God for you, um, letting him use you to help us come along the way we should be. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's a blessing. Amen. And so I would say this right here to leave y'all with this. Please understand and hear what God said. He said, I have 700 more prophets in Israel. This is what he said. Elijah was under the persuasion that there was nobody left. He thought he had got rid of them all. He thought, you know, that it was pretty much, you know, hey, a done deal. But it's just something about the God that we serve that always keeps a remnant, y'all. He always going to keep like he told Abraham when he was taking Isaac up. He says the Lord will provide. The Lord always going to keep him a ram over in the thicket. God always going to keep somebody that's going to care about you. God always going to have somebody that will literally have your heart and love you for real. So I will say you are not alone. You are not alone. When things come to make you feel alone, you know, when it comes to make you think that you at the wit's end and all, and circumstances may literally be legitimate. You may have a legitimate circumstance going on that looks that way. I still would say to you that God got some people. God got some prophets in Israel. God got some folk. You may not always know the people that are praying for you. Get out of this trying to have God figured out. You going to waste your life in that place because you won't ever figure him out. Elijah Cole thought, you know, hey, Israel is tripping. Every one of them have forsaken the covenant. I'm by myself. And God said, no, I got 700 of them here in there. Now. You mean to tell me, yeah, I got 700 people that's serving me that's here right among them that's being disobedient. So I would say this right here. There's always going to be someone. There's always going to be something. God always has a way of bringing us out. He always has a mighty hand, a way of showing up. Man, God ain't going to lose. He's not going to lose. He's not. The thing of it is, is just making sure that life does not put us in a place of accepting defeat. The spirit, the spirit is fine. The spirit is fine. The spirit already knows the ending from the beginning. The spirit already knows the victory. It's just making sure that life does not get the best of us. You have to speak to your life. That's the why. You have to literally speak to your life and speak over your life. You have to say to your life, life we win. Life we are going to do this. Life we are going to do that. You literally have to speak to your life because it is life that is going to bring about the greatest challenges. 
It is life that's always going to tell you that you're defeated. It is life that's always going to have those tribulations that Jesus spoke of. It's life. So we have to know how to win in life. If it's anything that's causing you harm, I promise you it's connected to your life. Any struggle that you got right now, any situation, circumstance you got going on, trace it back. I bet you you're going to trace it to your life. Because, see, your spirit already knows the victory over it. But it's your life that's literally wanting to sound louder than your spirit. Your life is saying, this ain't going to ever change. This ain't going to, oh, God, I'm always going to be messing up. I'm always going to be making mistakes. I'm all, I ain't going to ever get this thing right. I might as well not try to even serve God. Cause I ain't going to ever get this thing right. Look, I done fell again. Oh, my God. See, that's your life. That's your life. That's your life that says, look, everybody in the family done already been like this. You know, this just this just how our family is. See, that's life. That's life that's talking. That's not godliness. That's life. That's life that's talking. So if we would declare and decree that our lives would line up would line up with the word of God, line up with the purpose and the plan of God, then we would literally see some changes. So Father, I thank you this morning for victory over life. That's my prayer. For us to have victory over life. Life not to have victory over us. We need to have victory over life. We need to win in life. We literally need to be in a position as to where when life comes and serves us some horrible things that we literally serve life back some things of the kingdom of God to say that I am the righteousness of God. Literally serve God, serve life words back that says it is the peace of God that surpasses all understanding that will guard my heart and mind. We need to serve life with some things that says the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. We need to serve life with some things that says in this marriage a threefold cord is not easily broken. We need to serve life some things that says let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. We need to serve life with some things that says fret not because of evil doers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity for they too shall soon be cut down and wither as the green herb. We need to serve life some things that says that the Lord provides. He is my provider. We need to literally serve life some things that says I will not fear what man shall do unto me. We need to serve life things that says though a host should encamp round about me, my heart shall not fear. We need to serve life some things that literally says goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever we need to serve some things to life that says if he did it before he'll do it again we need to serve life these things to let life know that we are standing firm upon these things and we shall not be moved you won't draw us into a cave you won't draw us into a place of thinking that there is no hope you won't draw us into a place of literally speaking demise and accepting defeat but no we are living by victorious through Christ Jesus our Lord we are literally living in the redemption of the Lord we will hold to God's unchanging hand and literally see victory be ours we are winning in life we are not losing but we are winning in life and father that's the declaration that comes from my mouth as a decree over everyone that is under the sound of my voice voice that there is winning in life and not defeat in life. I decree and declare for the promotions that have gone forth, God, that they will see them and they will walk and step into them. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. Now give us this day our daily bread, Father. This day, allow this day to be coupled with your grace and with your mercy. Allow us, Father, to see favor in this day, God. Allow there to be great breakthroughs in this day. And we thank you for it now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, go ahead of me into tomorrow, Father. Prepare triumph in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Listen, I need amen. to give an opportunity 
for you all. I want to give an opportunity. As you know, we are transforming Trim. So I want to give an opportunity for any of you that desire to be a blessing to Trim. You know, uh, we are transforming. We're literally, man, I'm telling you, it. it <laughs> I'm excited about it. That's how that's all I can tell you. I'm excited about it. We are transforming and I don't want to not allow people to an opportunity to sow into this transformation. If you will notice promotion has hit, man. Promotion has literally hit the place. Promotion is there. We are being we have we are and we have been promoted and we are stepping into the promotions of things so i want to ask that you all would consider being a blessing to trim for the things that are being done there are some other things that um are being set in place some things that are needed to be to uh um, to you know to be set in place uh trim loves you i can tell you that trim prays for you prays for your family um you know literally i am so serious really 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 does care about people um, I posted just a few minutes ago before doing this on Facebook. Just because you don't see me or maybe don't hear from me does not mean I'm not on sight. I, I want y'all to hear me when I tell you that. And please know that. It doesn't mean I'm not on sight. See, my prayers and my love for you can go some places that my physical body can't. My prayers and my love is there. If I know you, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely, if I know you, you got it. But if I if you on my Facebook list, if you make my list with that confirmed friend request, whether you send it to me, most of them come to me because I don't really have time to send them out. If it's confirmed and you get in, then oh, I care about you. Oh, yeah, I care about you. I care about your children. I care about your dogs. I care about you. I care about what happens. So when I see you post, if I catch it and I see something about a prayer or something, are you going to see that care emoji come up there? That means I saw that and that means I got that governed in prayer. I don't show up in a lot of places and, and it's a reason that I don't show up in a lot of places. My greatest weapon to the kingdom of hell is my prayers. My, my greatest weapon is my prayers. My greatest weapon and I'm very particular. I don't go a lot of places because I don't like to be taken out of this place that I'm in. You know, I don't, I don't, I only move when I'm led to move. So I don't like to be moved out of this place that I'm in. So I don't go a lot of places. You know, I don't, I don't move into a lot of places. So it's not that I'm negating anybody. Please don't think that, you know, it's been funerals I ain't make it to and all this kind of stuff. It's not that I'm negating anybody. You just have to understand my life and respect my life the same way I would do yours. And know that my greatest weapon is my prayer time. My greatest call on my life is my prayer time. So because it is prayer that causes your life to change. Nothing else is prayer. That causes things to change. Nothing else. So you would much rather have me in prayer. Much rather have me in prayer. So that is a place that I protect. So I want to give opportunity for those of you, if you would, please to sow into trim. Um, you know, for our transformation, the things that we are doing. And catch hold of it, please. You know, catch a hold of it. For this season of time in your life, I would advise you to grab me. And to literally hold to what's going on. Because I'm going up. I'm telling you. I'm literally, literally, I kid you not, going up. There's no other way. I ch I refuse to go any other way. Literally going up. So, Trim has a mailing address of Post Office Box 543. That's in Op, Alabama. The Post Office Box is 543 in Op, Alabama. The zip code there is 36467. 36467, that's the mailing address. We have a, a cash app, which is TRIM, T-R-E-M, O-P-P, -P, 2014. TRIM Op 2014, that's the name of the ministry, the location of where it is, and the year it was established. TRIM Op 2014. Same thing for PayPal, but you're going to put at gmail.com at the end of it because PayPal likes to have an email address. So it's TRIM Op 2014 at gmail.com that is the paypal so those are three different ways that you could be a blessing and we would love to you know um to receive from you in order to help us to finish up the things that we're doing got some things coming ahead got some things on prayer got some things on finances you know things are coming into place